Welcome back, grade 11s. This is part two of our lesson on completing the square where the number in front of the x squared is a negative. So we are going to follow our steps and see if we can complete the square on this one. So our first step that I have written down is to group together all of our terms that have an x. So that would be the negative 9x squared and the negative 270x. Then we are going to factor out the number in front of x squared. So in front of x squared, there is a negative 9. So we are going to factor out negative 9, not negative 9x, just negative 9. So negative 9x squared divided by negative 9 gives me 1x squared, or I'm just going to write x squared. And then negative 270 divided by negative 9 is 30. So that's going to be plus 30, and then it has an x, so plus 30x. And then we have minus 350 that is still waiting its turn at the end there. Okay, then it says find two numbers that are the same that add to the middle term. So inside the bracket, I currently have two terms, but I would like it to be three. So I would like to have x squared plus 30x, and then there should be a number at the end. So in order to find that number, we're going to take our middle term of 30x. We are going to find two numbers that are exactly the same that add to 30x. So off at the side here, I'm going to see if we can find two numbers that add to 30x that are exactly the same. So I did make a little note to myself. There's a tiny little thing I wrote here that says divide by 2. So if I divide 30 by 2, that's 15. 15x plus 15x equals 30x. And then it says multiply those numbers to get the missing number. So we're trying to find this missing number here, so I'm going to multiply these together. 15 times 15 is 225x squared. All right, so the number that we're looking for here is 225. So I'm going to add 225 but I can't just randomly add a number because that changes my equation. So it says here, add and subtract the missing number in the bracket. So we are going to add 225 and then also subtract 225 because otherwise it's not the same parabola anymore. Now, if I were to do 225 minus 225, I just end up back up here. So I want to get rid of that negative 225. I do not want it in the bracket anymore. So we are going to multiply the negative out of the bracket. So the reason it's currently in the bracket is to show that it's being multiplied by negative 9. So if I were to multiply it by negative 9, it would not need to be in the bracket anymore. So this is going to be negative 9 times x squared plus 30x plus 225. And then I'm going to do negative 9 times negative 225 to get 2,025. We are still subtracting 350. All right, on the other side of my card, it says simplify the numbers outside of the bracket. So 225, sorry, 2,025, take away 350. Oops. Is 1,675. Right, and then the last thing that I have to do is factor the bracket. So that x squared plus 30x plus 225, I need to factor that. So I'm going to take it off to the side. It'll make it a little bit tidier if I do it that way. So I'm going to try to factor x squared 
plus 30x plus 225. Now, in order to factor this, we are looking for two things that multiply to 225x squared and add to 30x. But I've already figured that out, right, as part of the process in completing the square. So this is just going to be 15 and 15. So I have x squared plus 15x plus 15x plus 225. And then we group, so x squared plus 15x and 15x plus 225. The x squared and the 15x both have an x. And then x squared divided by x is x. 15x divided by x is 15. From the second pair, well, first of all, I take the sign from what's in between them. That's a plus sign. 15 and 225. 225 divides by 15. Right? It goes in 15 times. So they do both divide by 15. 15x divided by 15 is 1x, or just x. 225 divided by 15, I just did, is 15. So I notice that these two brackets are the same, which tells me that the second bracket here should be x plus 15. And then the first bracket is going to be x and plus 15. So I have x plus 15 times x plus 15, which is x plus 15 squared. So all I need to do is take my x squared plus 30x plus 225 and replace it with x plus 15 squared to get negative 9 times x plus 15 squared plus 1,675. Now, the last thing it asks me to do is state the transformations. In the A position, we have negative 9. I'm just going to draw a box around that. Um, so that negative is a reflection. The 9 means it is a stretch of 9. Inside the bracket, that's where h normally goes. So the plus 15 means we are going left 15. And the 1,675 is where my k normally would go. So we are going up 1,675. Now tomorrow, we will actually graph some of these when I am back. Um, however, we have one more question to go. It's a communication question. So I will see you in that last video.